This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 15, and it reads, Why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity. Because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakahakwadash, Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning He is a deliverer, He saves. Bahashem in the name, Rakahakwadash. Spirit Holy, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach one and rule well, who taught me the truth, peace, salutation to the Akiam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwatim listening, listening and learning in sincerity and in truth and in silence, Shalom. Akiam meaning brothers, Akwatim meaning sisters, Shalom, meaning peace be unto you. Right? We'll get right into it. Jeremiah 30, verse 15. And I, I was having a... Salakia, we'll get to the scripture. I was having a... Uh, I had a conversation this morning with an Eve. Right? By herself. No no husband. No man over her. By herself. And uh, she knows she is an Israelite. But... She doesn't accept it. So she's forsaking her power. Right? She had two-thirds. But she knows she's an Israelite. She knows the names. Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh, Shai. And she knows she's an Israelite. But she doesn't accept it. But anyway, I was having a conversation with her this morning. And um, she's she's crying of her affliction. Right? The hell she's catching. And she's going through it. Right? And I told her a while back that... uh. You knowing you you knowing you're an Israelite and and not returning to your power, disregarding it, prepare to catch hell, man. You're gonna go through it. You know what I mean? And listen, I don't tell her nothing no more, man. You know? Uh what's that scripture? In Titus, heretic, after the first and second ad ad admonition, reject. I don't tell her nothing no more, man. Let's get that scripture scripture real quick. In Titus. Titus 3 verse 10. And it reads. A man that is a heretic. A man that is an heretic. Right? Heretic. Uh, follower of false doctrines. Let's get it real quick. In the, in the strong, strong is G141 in the Greek. Strong's G141, heretikos, heretikos. Right. And, and she's into chakras and energies, you know what I mean? Everything but Yahweh B'Shem Yashai. Fitted or able to take or choose a thing, schismatic, factious, a follower of a false doctrine, heretic, right? Follower of a false doctrine in the Strong's from the same as G140, a schismatic heretic, the Greek word itself. Let's look at this root. Strong's G one forty, Hide Tizo, Hide Tizo. Right to choose to belong to a sect. In the Strong's to make a choice, choose right. So, a man who is a heretic, right? You're choosing something else other than Yahweh Shimon Shai. After the first admonition, admonition means warning. Reject. 
So yeah, I don't tell this Eve nothing no more, man. You know what I mean? But she was going into it, how much hell she's catching, man. Right? Calamities in her life. Jeremiah 30, verse 15, and it reads, Why criest thou for thine affliction? Two-thirds. Right? Don't know what's going on. What was me? Why is this happening? Why am I catching hell? Why can't I make it? Why is my body breaking down? Why can't I find a, a, a career? Why are we looked at as the dregs of society? Right? So-called indigenous, so-called Latino, so-called Negro. Right? That's the, that's the common gripe across, across the so-called Latino, the so-called uh, Negro, and the so-called uh, indigenous. Right? Who are Israelites and speckled bird. Right? The common gripe is, why are we at the bottom? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity. Right? The multitude. Many, 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 many offenses against the Most High. Yahweh B'Shem El Shai. Iniquity meaning sin upon sin. Because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. Right? The Most High has done these things to you. Wakitaki Christianity don't want to talk about that. They won't touch this. Right? Isaiah 45 and 7 says, I form the light and the darkness. Let's get it before I butcher it. Right? Isaiah 45 verse 7 and it reads, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil, evil meaning bad times. I, the Lord Yahweh, do all these things, right? The Lord, this is his movie. The world, everything around us, is the Lord's movie. The world is the the, the, the world is is is, is the, the director being Yahweh Bashim El Shai, the world being the film, and us people in the world, actors in the movie, playing out our role, playing out our part. Right, whatever happens, it's the Lord. The Lord does it. Right, Scripture in uh, Sirach says, uh, "Poverty and adversity." Sirach eleven. Life and death come of the Lord. Roughly paraphrasing. Right, so catching hell, tribulation, adversity. It's the Lord, Yahweh Shimel Shai. Right. And two thirds of people don't they they oh I'm I'm going through bad luck. I'm cursed. Well they got part of it right. We are under the curses. Written about in Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight, verse fifteen on down. Sirach eleven verse fourteen and it reads Prosperity and adversity right Prosperity, it, 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 things are going good. And adversity, you know, tribulation, catching hell. Life and death. Right? Life and the grave. Poverty and riches. Right? You poor or you getting it. Come of the Lord. All comes from the Lord, Yahweh B'Shim Right? No ifs, and or buts. No way around it. Right? But our, our, our people... Right, crying for, for, for thine affliction. Let's look at this word affliction. All right? And uh affliction, strongs H seven six six seven in the Hebrew. Strong's H seventy six sixty seven Sheva Sheva and second entry Shiva Shiva. Breaking, fracture, crushing, breach, crash, ruin, shattering. Breaking, fracture, shattering, crushing. Aren't, aren't Jake throughout the four corners of the earth being crushed, shattered, ruined? Crashing, breaking of a dream interpretation. Quarries in the Strongs. A fracture, figuratively, ruin. Specifically a solution of a dream. Affliction, breach, breaking, broken. Footed, handed, bruise, crashing, destruction, hurt, interpretation, vexation, right? Vexation, right? 
And this is the condition of Jake. But Jake doesn't understand why these things happen to him. Right? No knowledge, no wisdom, no understanding. Right? What's the scripture in Isaiah? Let's get Isaiah 1. Right? My people, uh, an ox knoweth his owner's crib, and an ass its master. Roughly paraphrasing. Let's get it. Isaiah chapter 1. The title here says, Rebellion of Powers People. Yahweh. Isaiah 1 verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. Right? Ox, an ox and an ass, donkey, are both dumb, basic animals. But they know their owner, and they know where they live, where they rest. Right? The Lord's making a comparison here. To Israel, Israel being a people before a place, you so-called indigenous, you so-called Latino, you so-called Negro, and speckled bird, and these dumb animals. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider, right? For example, this conversation I was having with this Eve this morning, right? She's been told she's 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 Jacob. She's been told she knows she's been told the names, right? But she doth not consider, she refuses. To accept it. Right? Let's look at this word consider. And I just said that just means the Lord's rejecting. The Lord's not the Lord the Lord's not dealing. You know what I mean? In the in the Hebrew. Strong's H995 Bean Bean To discern, understand, consider, to perceive, discern, to understand, know with the mind, to observe, mark, give heed to, distinguish, consider, to have discernment, an insight, understanding, right? Two thirds of people out here have no understanding. In the Strong's, generally understand, attend, consider, be cunning, diligently direct, discern, eloquent, feel, instruct, have intelligence. Right, two thirds of the people don't know, have no understanding of this truth. Right, they're not going to consider Yahweh Bashim Yashai. They're going to scoff right up until the missiles come. Right, they're not going to hearken. They're not going to repent. Right? Two-thirds are not going to repent. Verse 4, Isaiah 1 and 4. A sinful nation, two-thirds of the house of Israel. A people laden with iniquity, laden, burdened with sin upon sin. A seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord, Yahweh B'Shem Yoshai. Right? They've turned their back. They seek after everything but Yahweh B'Shem Yoshai. They seek after Buddha, Kemet, Shiva Jatis, do as thou wilt, Yolo, Wiccans, witches, warlocks. This Eve in question. Ah uh ah. -uh. Chakras and energies. Right? They have provoked the Holy One of Yahweh. Salakia. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward, right? They they strayed from the right paths. And the Lord Yahweh B'Shem is angry with two-thirds of our people. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more, right? Even though, no matter how much rebellious house, no matter how much licks beaten Jake gets, they're going to revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Right? They're going to continue to buck up more and more. And, and they're not right. Right? In the mind. Right? Whole head is sick. Right? Catching hell. Killing one another. Coveting. Adultery. Worshipping false gods.
right? Out here being brute beasts, right? Defiling their temples. Verse 6 From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, right? No soundness, no, no wisdom. But wounds and bruises and putrefying sores, right? Them, them curses, right? The parable of uh, Lazarus. The rich man Lazarus, it said the dogs licked the sores, right? The dogs being the other nations, the sores being the curses, the hell, right? Because Jake, the house of Israel as a whole is under the curses, right? But two thirds of the people don't understand that they're under curses. So they cry over their afflictions and they lament and they try and find an easy way. They try and go the back route, right? Or they try and they try and do it the the the, the they try and climb the, the the corporate ladder of success, quote unquote, in Esau's workforce, right? But they still catch hell. They still gotta they still gotta compromise their integrity. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment, right? The 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 mollifying ointment, mollified meaning to ah. Uh, to uh, 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 to to band to to bandage or make soft, to heal, with ointment. The ointment is his truth. All right, this word. What is it saying? Uh, wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon sixteen. Right, and and Jake, lest you repent, man. That's what it all boils down to. You gotta repent. Wisdom of Solomon, sixteen verse twelve, and it reads, "For it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but Thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things." Right, this word, this truth. Right, Cause listen. The curses ain't going nowhere, but when you have this knowledge, you know why things happen the way it happens. Let's look at this word mollified. Cause listen, we're in the flesh, we still catch hell. You know what I mean? Right, but we know why it's happening. Right? And the elect, Lord willing, over that number. The curses are going to be uh, uh, softened a little bit, so to speak. The curses, they, 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 don't, they don't go away. The, 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 only, the only time they go away is when Yahushai returns. But they're softened for the elect, Lord willing, wherever that number. In the Hebrew, the word for mollified, Strong's G, Salakia, Strong's H, 7401 in the Hebrew. Strong's H, 7401, Rachach. Rachach. Mollified. To be tender, to be soft, be weak, to tender, to be weak, to be softened, be penitent. To be soft, to be soft, right? Mollified ointment. The ointment softens. You understand? In the Strong's, a primitive root to soften. Use figuratively. Be faint hearted, mollified. Be make softer, be tender, right? So you're in this truth, right? The curses are still there, but they're softened a little bit for the elect, right? The truth, the ointment being the truth, the the the, the understanding, the wisdom. Right? Salak. Right? But yeah, that's it on that, man. You know? One more. Isaiah 30. Right, and this is two-thirds, man. Isaiah 30, verse 7. Right? Go listen, she's she been told. She's been told. She refuses. Isaiah 
Isaiah 30, verse verse 11. The point's in 11. We'll read uh, verse 9 and 10. Isaiah 30, verse 9. That this is a rebellious house. Two-thirds. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord Yahweh. They ain't going to hear it. They don't want to hear it. Which say to the seers, the prophets, see not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. They don't want to hear prophet. They, they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear this law. That they, they don't want to hear the words of Yahweh Shimon Shai. Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Right? Tell us nice things. Tell us things that fit my life. This is what two thirds want to hear. Right? Verse eleven. Here's the point. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us, right? Move from in front of me, man. I don't want to hear this. The Bible. This is two-thirds. It's what they say. That book, King James, a white man. Right? They don't want to hear it. Get out of my way. Take that book with you on the way out. This is two-thirds. Right, and then turn around and cry about their affliction, about what's going on. Why is this happening to me? You, you, you know, you showed them y'all. You know, the Israelites is accursed. And these are how the curses go. They don't want to hear it. That's the first admonition. They're crying again some more about something else. You showed them y'all. You know, Jacob. You understand? Nah, I don't want to hear that, man. Tell me something else. Tell me. Tell me about chakras and energies, man. I'll listen to that. So then, you, you the, the, after the first and second uh, admonition. You, you reject. You don't tell them nothing more, man. Right? But yeah, that's it on that, man. You know, I pray you're edified. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone to teach one and rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect.